Hey guys, Izon here and today I'm going to do a short review on the Broken Wall. So first off, in order to obtain the Broken Wall, you have to complete the second dream quest, which is the best quest ever if I have to say so. But make sure you also completed the Nata quest as it is a prequel. So once I've done the second dream quest, I was really surprised of how good the weapon is. The total damage of the weapon is 90 and it even surpasses the Dark Cloud Prime making it the highest single-handed weapon in the entire game and not to mention the fact that it also has the longest reach of all long swords and as well as it has a good critical chance which means that this sword is definitely the best sword as of now for end game content and I love it I mean the sword look amazing it does an impact fog on the first hit to stun an enemy followed by slash damage to deal even greater DPS over time and it deals really high damage with Crimson Dervish 3x multiplier and the finisher damage on it is amazing and did I even mention how great the weapon looks? Alright so of the my build which consists of Crimson Dervish for the stance, Pressure Point, Jagged Edge, True Steel, Organ Shatter, Berserker, Light Strike and your two elemental mods depending on your faction you can also put in Venture Revenant, but I recommend more on Crimson Dervish as it has a 3x multiplier while the Venture Revenant does not. But I put in Venture Revenant just for fun because the stance move is pretty amazing. So use whatever stance you feel like to use. So do I think the Broken Wall is worth it after doing the second Dream Quest? Yes, definitely 10 out of 10, yes. It is really an amazing weapon, especially for any game content for those high master rank players. So yes, keep this weapon and do not, I bet, do not use it for the wall building requirements as the broken wall itself will drop in the sorties near future. So do keep an eye out for the reward. Thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you enjoy it and peace out.